Hello, my name is Charles Valina, and I'm co-author of Oxford Discover. In today's lesson, we're going to be introducing students to a unit from student book three in which we discuss plants and why they're important. The purpose of today's lesson is to get students focused on the topic, to find out what they know about the subject, and also to find out what they want to know so we can explore it further. Let's get started, okay? Today we're going to be talking about living things, and one living thing in particular, but I brought myself with me a friend. And what do you think this is? First of all, is it a plant or an animal? Plant. It's a plant, okay, great. We've got that figured out. All right, what kind of plant is it? It's a flower. It's a flower, thank you. Do you remember, girls, what kind of flower? Sunflower. It's a sunflower. Does it look like the sun? Yes. All right, good. Do you have sunflowers in Mexico? Yes. Great. Did you see a sunflower this morning coming to school? No. No? Okay, but they are in Mexico. That's great. Sunflowers are really cool because they follow what? The sun. They follow the sun. And later, as we move into the lesson, you'll find out why sunflowers do that. It's very cool. Can you eat a sunflower? No. Thank you for telling me. Okay, but there is a part of the sunflower that you can eat. Is it this side? No. no. Do you know what part you can eat? They gather over here and they fall to the ground. What are those? What do you call something that you plant in the ground? And some people seeds. 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 So you can eat sunflower seeds. Good. Have you ever eaten sunflower seeds? Yes. You have? Okay, good. Great. And they're very delicious. And yes. sunflowers don't mind giving us their seeds, so it's a pretty cool thing. Now, this sunflower, his name is Fred. Now, I told the first group that my sunflower's name is Fred. I know it's a strange name, but Fred is my pet, right? So I don't have a dog or a cat. I only have a sunflower. So that way, wherever I go, I can walk my sunflower in the morning. And I can talk to my sunflower, and I read its stories at night, and I feed it, <laughs> and I put it to sleep. Do you think that's great? Do you think it's a good idea? Yeah. You do. All of you think it's a good idea. Okay, good. So are plants the same as animals? No. Okay. Is there anything that's the same about a plant and an animal? Yeah. That the things, the things that are alike is that they are... Alive. They are both they are alive. perfect. They are both alive. So look what I put on the board here. This is called a Venn diagram. Do you see the big circles? Yes. What's this set heading say? Yes. What's this? Animals. What's this? Both. both. It's supposed to say both. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how plants and animals are different and how they're the same. And you've already told me one area that they're the same. They're both Alive, good, that's perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pass out some paper. Miguel, can you come, Miguel, can you help me pass out the paper? One sheet for two, so there's one sheet for them, one sheet for you, and just pass it around, okay? Thank you. So you guys are gonna share this. Why? Because we want to work together. We want to help each other. And so we each two students get one sheet of paper. Okay? Now, what I want you to do, you guys, is to think about two ways that plants and animals are the same. And look, we already have one way finished. They're both alive. But can you see, can think of two ways that plants and animals are different? Or you might even think of three ways that plants and animals are different, right? Okay? So can you work together? And can you actually make this diagram on a piece of paper? Try it, okay? Make big circles, big circles. Make sure they cross in the middle, okay? Can you do it together? You might have to share one desk. Great. Label them plants, animals, and both. Can you do that for me? All 
All right, good. Now, I want you to work together, and I want you to think about, can you think of two ways or three ways that plants and animals are different? Can you think of one or two, and let's maybe even say three ways, that plants and animals are the same? I want you to speak with each other. You can even talk as a group, three or four of you, English only. All right, see what you can do in the next couple minutes, okay? Please begin. I'm gonna walk around and listen. So work together, talk to each other, all right? How are plants and animals different? Oh, you have a pencil, okay, don't worry about it. Animals can move. Very good, you can write that down. Move and, what would this be? Can they move? Don't no. move. Exactly. You can just write one word or two words. You don't have to write a full sentence. Just think of ideas, okay? Okay, who would like to tell me? Let's start in the middle. What are some ways that plants and animals are the same, okay? I heard some great ideas from you before. Yes? The plants and the animals grow. Plants and animals both. Grow. Wonderful. Do you agree? Is that true? Plants and animals both grow? Yes. So we can put it up here? All right. They both grow. That's wonderful. Yes. The plants and the animals drink water. Plants and animals drink water. Oh, drink water. I love it. Plants and animals drink water. Do they drink water the same way? No. They drink it differently, but they both need water. That's a wonderful observation. Can you add one more? I didn't think we'd have one more. Yeah. They feel. They feel. Wow. That's a very powerful thing to say. So are you saying that when I touch a plant, they feel it, right? I think you're right. Do you know there's a certain plant that eats flies? Do you know that one? We have it in my place in Minnesota. And when the fly comes in a certain area, the plant closes and it eats the fly. Can you imagine? Anyways, they're both alive, they both grow, they both drink water, and plants and animals both feel. That's wonderful. Can you give me an example of how they are different? Yes. That uh, animals can move. Animals can move. They can move from one place to another. Can plants move? No. no. Never ever, huh? Vines can grow, right? They can kind of move, but the plant itself has to stay in one place, right? Did you have another? Your hand was up. Do you have another idea? Oops, I'm sorry. Plants, what should I say? Don't move. Okay, thank you. All right, wonderful. Another idea. Yes, um, Grace. Plants make their own food. Brilliant class. You guys are amazing. Plants make their own food. Wow, you mean like hamburgers and pizza? <laughs> no? Wouldn't that be cool if we could grow plants that would make pizza and then they would eat a pizza and the extra pizza they would give to us? That's something you can work on. Plants make their own food. How about animals? What would we say then about animals? They don't make food, they have to but how about food? What do they have to do? Hunt it and another animal. Okay, yeah, exactly. I'm wondering if we could just say they have to find food, look for food. Anyways, they can't, they can't just sit around. They have to find their food, right? How about us? Do we make our own food or do we find food? That's an interesting question, right? I guess we cook our own food, but we really don't make our own food, right? No. So we have to go to the supermarket and find food too, right? Mm -hmm. Are we plants or animals? I guess we're part of this kingdom, animals. right? Okay. Anything else? Do you know a difference between a plant and an animal? Um. Okay. That they make oxygen. Oh my gosh, you guys are great. Plants make oxygen. Now, oxygen is a very big word. Oh, wait a minute. Can you spell it for me? O. O. X. Y. G. E. N. Oxygen. Amazing. <laughs> that is excellent. 
Thank you. So plants make oxygen. What do animals make? Well, actually, when we think about animals, when we breathe, when they breathe out, there's, we don't have oxygen, but we have something called CO2, right? Carbon dioxide. We can talk about that later. But anyways, that's very true. Or we can say animals don't make oxygen, okay? Don't make it, okay? Great. You guys, that was amazing. Thank you so much. I'm gonna talk about why we need plants, why we need Fred. Not, Fred is more than just a pet. He's very important, so we can talk about that. Let's erase Fred, let's erase me, and let's erase animals for now. Okay, so we're gonna focus on plants. Now you've already told me a lot about plants. We know that plants don't move, but they're alive. They make their own food, they grow, they make oxygen, they drink water, and they feel. You know a lot about plants already. That's wonderful.